Hi, this is Jim Toll, part of the Vichet Optoelectronics team, and today we're going to talk about a light-to-digital proximity sensor, the VCNL36687S. The VCNL36687S is just part of our overall optoelectronics portfolio. Uh, it falls within the optical sensors in the digital section, but we also have IR receivers for remote control and sensing applications, discrete infrared emitters and photo detectors, optocouplers and solid state relays, visible and UV LEDs, and yes, the famed ERTA transceivers. The VCNL 36687S is a presence and proximity sensor. It can be used to detect the presence of an object in front of the sensor, or it can be used to determine whether that object is moving towards or away from the sensor. It is fully integrated. It includes the emitter, the photo detector, and all signal processing. The VCNL 36687S is unique in that it uses a very low power consuming VIXEL or vertical cavity surface emitting laser. Now that's not a perfect light point source, but it's pretty darn close. It has plus or minus three degree angle of half intensity. And as a digital sensor, you interface the sensor using I squared C from the microcontroller. Some features that are programmable, vertical cavity, surface emitting laser, forward current, and you can choose whether it's a 12-bit or a 16-bit resolution. So when I mention low power consumption, I'm comparing the forward current of the VCNL 36687S, which is 20 milliamp, to the forward current of the VCNL 4020 or 4040, which is 200 milliamp. And in the table or graph you see there, you see that the actual detection distance is pretty much equivalent. So you're getting comparable range at one-tenth the current. And when the VCNL 36687S is operating at 20 milliamp forward current, you get a detection distance up to 20 centimeters using, using a Kodak gray card, which has 18% reflectivity. Now, in the previous slide, we were talking about the forward current of the emitter. Here, we're talking about current consumption of the total sensor. And again, when you look at the VCNL 36687S, um, its average current consumption is 0 0.08 milliamps. When you're operating at the max forward current, and we're taking about 10 measurements per second. And you can compare that to the VCNL 4200, the 4040, or the 4030, and you see that it's significantly lower current consumption overall. So I'd like to kind of describe a few of the programmable features of the VCNL 36687S. And we'll start with current. I already mentioned that. You can uh, program the forward current to be anywhere between 7 milliamp or to the max 20 milliamp. You can control the integration time, which controls the length of a proximity pulse, anywhere from 50 microseconds to 400 microseconds. Um, you can control the period, which sets how often a proximity measurement is made, eight, every 8 milliseconds, 16, 32, or 64 milliseconds. You can set and interrupt so that when a measurement exceeds an upper or lower threshold, you'll notify the microcontroller of that event. You can also set the persistence, which means the number of consecutive measurements that have to be above or below that threshold before you send the interrupt. And finally, you can turn it on or off. Earlier, I mentioned that the VCNL 36687S is ideal for battery-operated devices. We've talked about current consumption. It also has a package size of 3 millimeters by 2 millimeters by 1 millimeter in height, which also has in its advantages uh, for small consumer electronic devices. So you'll find it in headphones, you'll find it in smartwatches, you'll find it in uh, tablets and smartphones, um, for sure in robot applications, because um, it gives you great range at low current, and then other robot applications like floor sweepers and things like that. The data sheet and application note for the VCNL 36687S is available on our website and samples are available through any of Vichet's licensed distributors. If you have any questions, you need any support, send an email to sensorstechsupport at vichet.com and you'll get an answer within a day. You can find more information about our optoelectronic portfolio at vichet.com slash optoelectronics.